Members of the Grand Ducal family of Luxembourg host a New Year gala reception in Luxembourg City. Queen Letizia of Spain presides over a meeting in Madrid. And Prince Albert II of Monaco is diagnosed with COVID-19 again. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Alexandra, and this is your Royal Daily News for January 24th, 2023. In Luxembourg City, their Royal Highnesses Grand Duke Henri and Grand Duchess Maria Theresa of Luxembourg hosted the traditional New Year Gala reception at the Palais Grand Ducal. Accompanying the Grand Ducal couple last evening were their Royal Highnesses Hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume and Hereditary Grand Duchess Stephanie of Luxembourg, His Royal Highness Prince Felix of Luxembourg, His Royal Highness Prince Louis of Luxembourg, Her Royal Highness Princess Alexandra of Luxembourg, and His Royal Highness Prince Sebastian of Luxembourg. Guests in attendance included the Prime Minister of Luxembourg, Mr. Xavier Battelle, members of the Luxembourg Chamber of Deputies, members of the government, members of the Council of State, senior representatives of the judiciary, members of the diplomatic corps, and representatives from various European institutions. This morning, His Royal Highness Hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume of Luxembourg held an audience with the outgoing president of the Federation of Young Business Leaders, Mr. Georges Krombach, and his successor, Mr. Antoine Klassen, at the Palais Grand Ducal. In Brussels, Their Majesties King Philippe and Queen Mathilde of the Belgians hosted a New Year reception at the Palais Royal. Guests attending this afternoon's event included representatives from various European institutions based in Brussels and permanent representatives accredited to the European Union, according to the Belgian Royal Court. Meanwhile, His Majesty King Felipe VI of Spain presided over a ceremony in celebration of the 75th anniversary of the establishment of the Escuela Militar Peracadismo Mendes Parrara and Air Force Training Center held at the Alcantarilla Air Base. Upon his arrival, His Majesty the King was warmly welcomed by the Chief of Staff of the Air and Space Army, Mr. Javier Martinez, and the head of the Alcantarilla Air Base and director of the Mendes Parrara Military Parachuting School, Mr. Alberto José Blanco. During today's celebrations, His Majesty the King inspected the guards, watched a parade as well as watched various paratrooper training exercises from the Army, Navy, Civil Guard, and National Police. In Madrid, Her Majesty Queen Letizia of Spain participated in a meeting with the Board of Directors of the Asociación Española contra el Cáncer and the Fundación Científica de la Asociación Española contra el Cáncer, held at the headquarters of the AECC. During today's meeting, Her Majesty the Queen was informed about the AECC's accomplishments in 2022, as well as a, quote, presentation of priorities for 2023, end quote. Her Majesty was also informed about the new initiative entitled Todos Contra el Cancer. The initiative is a joint effort led by the Spanish Association Against Cancer and has been declared an event of exceptional public interest until 2024 by the government of Spain. Quote, Actions include the promotion of early detection programs, education on healthy lifestyles, research funding, and support for patients and their families. The objective is to reduce the incidence and mortality from cancer by adopting preventative measures and improving access to quality treatment. The challenge is to achieve 70% survival in the year 2030 and reduce the inequalities caused by the disease. End quote. In Oslo, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Haakon of Norway visited the headquarters of Statkraft to learn about the company's activities in Norway and abroad. According to the Norwegian Royal Court, Stotcroft is Norway's largest power producer and leading producer of renewable energy in Europe. The company produces hydropower, wind power, solar power, and gas power, and they supply district heating. Stotcroft has 5,000 employees in 20 countries. During today's visit, the Crown Prince met with the company's experts on power production and the power market 
and was given a tour of the Stockcrofts power plant. Meanwhile, Her Royal Highness Princess Avir Vanavari of Thailand presided over the opening of the Dong Khoi Sustainable Village in Sakun Nankon. According to the newspaper Bangkok Post, the Dong Khoi Sustainable Village is a, quote, community-based learning center that utilizes traditional indigo dyeing wisdom in the northern province of the kingdom, end quote. During her visit, the princess met with weavers, admired their work, and gave one woman a compliment, stating, quote, I really love your products. They look great, but some need to be adjusted to be a bit better, end quote. And finally, in Monacoville, the Palais Princière announced that His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco has tested positive for COVID-19 again. This is the third time the Sovereign Prince has been diagnosed with a virus. In March 2020, the Sovereign Prince was diagnosed with COVID-19, and he was one of the first of several heads of state in Europe to test positive. On Wednesday, April 13, 2022, the Palais Princière announced that the Prince had tested positive for the second time since the pandemic began. In this afternoon's press release, the Palais Princière noted that the Sovereign Prince is, quote, asymptomatic at this time. His state of health inspires absolutely no concern. He works remotely, in permanent contact with members of his cabinet, his government, as well as with his close collaborators. This period of isolation will adapt to the health rules in force, end quote. This evening, the Sovereign Prince was due to attend the 45th International Circus Festival of Monte Carlo Gala in Fambier. Naturally, he has canceled his attendance. The Palais Princière also confirmed that the Sovereign Prince will not preside over the Feast of Santa Vote celebrations beginning on Thursday evening with a pontifical mass on Friday at the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, also known as the Monaco Cathedral, with Archbishop Dominic Marie David presiding. While the Prince may not attend the upcoming celebrations, Last week, he gave an on-camera interview with the Diocese of Monaco on the occasion of the Feast of Saint Devot. The interview will air tomorrow at 6 p.m. Prior to this afternoon's announcement, Prince Albert II attended a presentation of achievements made by the Princess Grace Hospital Center this morning alongside the Director of the Hospital and the Minister of Social Affairs and Health for the Principality of Monaco. Last evening, the Sovereign Prince, accompanied by his niece, Miss Camille Gutleb, attended the third edition of the Fight AIDS Monaco charity football match held at the Stade Louis II. The match between Prince Albert's team and Princess Stephanie's team raised money as well as awareness for Her Serene Highness Princess Stephanie of Monaco's association, Fight AIDS Monaco. So, who won the match? Prince Albert's team, 3-2. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow on Wednesday, January 25th with all the latest world news. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful evening and a great day tomorrow. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, take care everyone. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.